these are not my thoughts. I made a short story. Well, it's a shit. It, I just made a, a short dialogue of a creepy guy on a bus. Once again, I must stress that these are not my thoughts. Well, are they? I wrote them down. Shit. Alright. Alright. I read them as, in case anybody was wondering, cry reads in that type of style of voice. So. Mm. I hope it's, it's creepy. Yes, I don't like being creepy, but here you go. Hello, Thursday people. Uh, I do like a Thursday. This is a shot of a Wednesday, though. Hmm. Well, it took a while for this bus to go anywhere. <laughs> a real long time. Stupid lights. Uh, I didn't have any profound thoughts at this moment. Nor do I think I have many at any other given time. But on the rainy day bus from town, I had just gotten off work from a long day. I was anticipating a long hot shower when I got home. I feared my sweaty self was driving a lot of people loopy and getting off a stop early from the stench. Of success, most likely. They can't handle all of this. <laughs> but lest we forget my unforgettable masculinity and move on. The rain had dampened my spirits a tad and my eyes began to flutter. The world was making me tired, and I must fight back. The voices coming from the window, they were easily ignorable, for when I looked out, I could only look down on their pitiful souls from this double-decker bus I so eagerly adored. At this point, my damp hair was attacking my eyebrows, keeping my focus on reality and forcing me to stay away from my thoughtful dreams. Oh, how I wanted to go there, to be whisked away into gratefulness. Quickly, and as soon as I could, I swiped the hair from my brow, flicking my eye in the progress. I dozed off, and thus is the story of how I missed my stop. Stupid bus. <laughs>